to this picture. Can everybody see it? Yes. We need to turn the lights off so that you can see it. The house falls apart. And then, just when it looks like it gets set right back. Well, the reason why I told you to bring your shopping shoes was because um, I had a dream. You may be seated. I had a dream. And in the dream, we were all together. We were going places. And everywhere we went, uh, whoever had suffered or had or lost anything as it pertained to COVID, they automatically got restored. Amen. Amen. Right? And so we were in this big, beautiful place. I don't know if it was a museum or what it was, but we were there and we went and, and we just watched God set what had fallen down right back up. Amen. We watched how people who lost money and who lost jobs received it all back. Hallelujah. And so I asked God, I said, what is this dream about. And he said, tell the church restoration has hit the house. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Restoration has hit the house. And so whatever was turned upside down, whatever, take it back to the other picture for me, prophet. Whatever looked like it was never going to be right back side again, God said restoration has hit this house. Amen. He said, whatever what was turned upside down, what was ever topsy-turvy, God said, restoration has hit the house. Hallelujah. And that would seem impossible. Thank you, Lord. That would seem impossible if we saw a house jump back up and turn itself right back the way. But hear me clearly as the oracle of God. Whatever was turned upside down, God is turning it back right again. Restoration has hit the house. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Amen. So if that's your house, if that's your finances, if that's your marriage, if that's your relationship, get ready as T.E. Jakes will say, amen. Get ready. 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 Get ready because God's about to put everything right back where it's supposed to be. Amen. Hallelujah. Everything's coming back. Amen. Would you just confess that? Or be like, everything's coming back. Everything. church, because a, a Pentecostal church would have gave God praise right oh, there. Hallelujah. 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 Today it's all right. Hallelujah. Hail Mary, mother full of grace, and all of that. Amen. But God said restoration has hit the
And when it looked like we weren't going to rule, when it looked like we weren't going to reign, amen, guess what? You better tighten your crown back up. You better shift it, amen. If it moves over a little bit, you better shift your crown, amen, because you're coming back, amen, hallelujah. There's a return involved in this. Tell somebody, come on, prophesy to somebody. Tell them there's a return involved in this. There's a return involved in this. Amen, my stuff is returning. Amen. It has received direct orders from God, hallelujah, to return back to you. Amen. Whatever was lost, amen. It said it is renewal, revival, or reestablishment. The act of restoring something or someone to a satisfactory state. Scripture says he satisfies our mouth with good things. So that our youth is renewed. Hmm. In the Hebrew, the word is shalom. It's shalom. Not shalom as in peace. Shalom. Amen. It meant to be in safe, to be safe in mind, body, or state. To be safe in mind, body, or estate. To be or cause to make complete it. To be, watch this. Now this one really blessed me. It said to be friendly. To be friendly. It means God is about to be real friendly to you. Amen. Amen. They were praying Thursday. And the wonderful thing is that I had gotten the word early in the week. That's why I read what the Sentinels talked about. When they were talking about God's going to blow our mind in the season. I said, God, these people don't even know. And Pastor Earl was saying, um, uh, be not weary and well-doing. And she sees God reversing things. And I said, these people, I haven't talked to none of them. And Prophet was saying, praise God for, for the victory or whatever it was. That was, I was. I'm just looking at how God was speaking about this. And then Kirk talks about how the enemy has now fallen. Amen. 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 And God is in a giving mood. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And we're going to get to it, but Sentinels, you played a very big role in this restoration. Uh, and, and I, I mean a humongous role in this restoration. Amen. It meant also to be paid in full. Amen. This is the Hebrew definition now. It meant to reciprocate. So what you've been giving God. He's about to give back to you. If you've been giving him praise, God is about to praise you. Hallelujah. Thank you. It meant to perform. So there will be a performance. You're going to watch God move. Amen. In the Bible, restoration always is always in abundance. Remember that. It is always in abundance. Lay hands on yourself. Say, abundance just hit my house. Abundance just hit my house. Amen. It just hit my body. Amen. Hold on to your purse or your wallet. Say, it just hit my purse. It just hit my purse. Amen. It just hit my wallet. It just hit my wallet. It just hit my bank account. It just hit my bank account. Abundance, 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 abundance. It meant to make somebody prosper. Amen. When something is restored, it is always better than the way it was to begin with. Amen. God's promise to us is to use a better way, a better life, a better future for ourselves and our loved ones. If you would go with me to Joel, the second chapter. Now, here it is. Uh, in, in, the, in the scriptures ahead, it talks about the day of the Lord and how terrible it's going to be. And how God is coming back and, and how he was restoring things and he was getting uh, Israel in order. Right? But I'm going to start at verse 17. And here's the part that the sentinels play. It said, let the priests. The ministers of the Lord weep between porch and the altar, and let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach, that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God? 
Hear what Joel is saying to God. He said, he said, let the priest. Let the priest cry out. Let the sentinels cry out between the porch and the altar. And let them say, spare your people, O oh God. Don't give the enemy a chance to say, where is their God now? And that's what the sentinels have been doing, praying. Praying against COVID, praying against cancer, praying against, and, and it keeps happening where the people are being healed. Amen. Amen. But you guys have been praying between porch and altar and crying out for God to spare people. So that the enemy doesn't get a chance to say, where's their God now? The devil doesn't get an aha moment with the people of God. Because the moment that the devil starts claiming that he's done something, God always reverses what's being done. Yes. Ask Job, double force trouble. Amen. 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 And so, let the priests who minister to the Lord weep between the porch and the altars, leaders among God's people, must especially lead in repentance. They can't come with an attitude that the people must repent. They must regard themselves as the people and the people as themselves and lead in repentance. Spare your people, O oh Lord, and do not give your inheritance to reproach. Joel puts a rich prayer of repentance into the mouths of God's priests. It is as if the priest should pray with the thought, how can we persuade God to have mercy on us? Spare. This implies that God's people deserve judgment, but they plead for mercy. Your people reminds God that they belong to him and provides another motivation for mercy. Do not give your heritage to reproach. This tells God that mercy unto his people will bring him glory among the nations and that judgment may bring his name unto discredit. And so, as the sentinels have been praying and, 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 and crying out to God that God would save, that God would heal, that God would deliver, that God would set free, here is the moment where God answers. Amen. And he lets us know restoration has hit the house. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Then will the Lord be jealous for his land. And pity his people. Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil, and you shall be satisfied. And ye shall be what? Satisfied. Therewith. And I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen, but I will remove far off from you the northern army. And will drive him into the land, into a land barren and desolate, with his face toward the east sea, and his hinder part toward the utmost sea. And his stink shall come up, and his ill savor shall come up, because he hath done great things. What you were dealing with, what you have been battling, and the results of it. Says when God gets jealous of how you've been, because God is the only God that will allow you to go into something and then get jealous because it's doing too much. Amen. And it says God will get jealous and start sending stuff. He will remove the enemy far from you because the enemy has fallen. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. He says, and I'll put them in a place. Where their face will be facing another way and their behind will be facing another. Then God sends strict instructions to the church. And he says, fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice. Be glad and rejoice for the Lord will do Great thing. Yes. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field. 
For your pastures in the wilderness do spring. For the tree beareth her fruit. The fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he hath given you the former rain moderately. Yes, God. And he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain. You're getting it all. Amen. Hallelujah. Remember, the scripture that we read every day in Deuteronomy 28 says that he will open up unto us his good treasure. The rain is his good treasure. Remember, these people lived off agriculture. And today, so do we. And God is saying, I'm about to send abundance in such a way that it's going to be the former rain and the latter rain. But now, remember this. God is promising rain in a desert. Isaiah said, rivers in the desert will I see. So we're about to see a way made out of no way. Amen. That ain't for you. Amen. You don't need a way made for you. That, that, that's for somebody else. Amen. That's for somebody who's been battling and going through in their mind that God is about to make a way out of no way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Why is he sending the rain? Because he has sent the locusts and they ate up everything. Amen. Seems like you work just to pay bills and not to enjoy yourself, but hear God today. Glory be to God. He says, and the floors shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall overflow with wine and oil, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the pommel worm, my great army, which I sent among you. You see, a lot of times, let me show you something just about this, God, to feel your power. A lot of times we give the enemy credit for what God is doing. This was a time of learning for them. It was a time because sometimes God won't let you rise up. I read on Facebook until every snake in your camp is gone. Amen. <laughs> Sometimes he holds you there in obscurity until he removes those that can't go with you that don't fit into the mold of your vision. Amen. And so he said, this was my army. This was, this was your punishment. Everything that you were making was being eaten up. He said, but I'm moving. Now here's the place that God said earlier, I'm going to put the locusts in because they're only good if they're eating. He said, I'm going to put them in a barren place and they're going to die and their stink is going to come up. He says, I'm going to point their face in one direction and their behind in another. Hear God talking about what, was, what you were dealing with. What he allowed to happen and how he got the fix for it only. Amen. My God, Jesus. He said, and you shall eat plenty, eat in plenty. And again, be satisfied. But isn't that what restored meant? To be satisfied? So then while you're being satisfied, while I'm being God, as only I can be in your life, he said, and you shall praise the name of the Lord your God that hath dealt wondrously with you. My God. How is God about to deal with me? It's wondrously. Oh my God, eyes haven't seen. Oh, Lord Jesus, glory to God. Ears haven't heard. He's about to deal wondrously with me. Hallelujah. Just before I was about to give up, just before I threw in the towel, he said, I'm going to come and deal wondrously, wondrously with me. Don't worry about it. I got you. I got you in the palm of my hand. Amen. Glory to God. Hear that? And my people shall never be ashamed. That means God understands how you felt. It made God understand, it understood exactly where you were. Well, God, I'm doing all this service to you, Jesus, and just like you said, and, and, and when is it going to work for me, God? I'm giving other people work, but Lord, what about the work that I'm waiting on? Amen. What about the, 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 you know, the peace, the joy that I'm waiting on? And God, I'm, I'm encouraging everybody else. He said, I'm going to deal wondrously with you. Amen. Amen. You ain't going to be ashamed. You're going to praise the name of your God. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Because see, when, when God starts talking like this, he's about to do things that only he can do. 
Mm-hmm. Your, your father can't help you. Amen. Not in this one. Not what God's talking about. Amen. Hallelujah. Your, your job can't help you. Hallelujah. I'm about to do what nobody else can do. And God specializes in it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And he will do what no other power, Amen. Holy Ghost power can do. Yes. God specializes. Yes. Have you? So any river that seems uncrossable, my God, Jesus. Glory to God. So you shall know that I'm in the midst of Israel, that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people, here it is again, shall never be ashamed. Again, I'm coming to deal with the emotion. So I'm coming, I'm coming. I know how you felt that. I know what it looked like. I know what they were saying. I know what they were doing. I'm coming to deal with all that. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons, you worried about your children, and your daughters shall prophesy. You worried about your old men, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. Also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in earth, the blood and fire and pillars of smoke. That's why they talk about blood moons. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass. Tell somebody it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. That whatsoever, that whosoever, I'm a whosoever. Amen. I'm a whosoever. Shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. As the Lord has said, and in the remnant of whom the Lord shall come. That's us. Yes. That's us. And so make room for miracles. Ah, yes. Make room for your miracle. Make room for your answered prayer. Now let's talk about some scriptures because this isn't the only scripture where God has promised restoration nor revival. If you go to Isaiah 61, when Jesus is announcing himself, he says, to appoint beauty unto them that mourn in Zion. I got you that's breathing too. To give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Why is God coming to deal with what you're grieving over? So that you can be called the trees of the Lord. Amen. The planting of the Lord. Trees of righteousness. Because he wants the glory out of your roof. Amen. Amen. He wants the glory out of your grief. Is there actually grief, glory, and grief? Obviously. Amen. He wants the grief, he wants the glory out of your grief. Another scripture is Psalm 68, 3 through 7. It says, But let the righteous be glad, and let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. Sing unto God, sing praises to his name, extol him that rideth upon the heaven. By his name, Jah. And rejoice before him. Why? He's a father to the fatherless and a judge to the widows. Is God in his holy habitation? God said the solitary in families. He bringeth out those which are bound with chains. But the rebellious dwell in a dry land. <laughs> oh God, when thou wentest forth before thy people, hear that? When God goes before you, said so when thou didst march through the wilderness, Selah, pause, think about it. Think about it. When God marched through the wilderness, God's coming right to where you are. He's coming in your bed. I can't have God over here. I can't, I can't invite God into this. This is a mess. Who else is going to fix it? Amen. 
Who else is going who, who, who to fix it? And the wonderful thing about our God is that he's not afraid of the wilderness nor the barren land. Amen. Amen. So it said he marched through the wilderness. <laughs> One more scripture. It says in uh, Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and the future. We hear it said and explained in a different version. It says to give you an expected end. Expected. An expected end. What are you expecting God to do? He says, that's what I'm going to give you. The end that you're hoping for, I'm going to give you just that. Could you handle it if God came and brought you that expected end? And the other question is, how would you praise him? Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 66, which is one of my favorites. Verses 8 through 12, it says, Oh, bless our God, ye people, and make the voice of his praise to be heard, which holdeth our soul in life, and suffereth not our feet to be moved. That's why the devil can't kill you. That's why he can't. He'll try to discourage you to death if you let him, but the devil can't kill you. God is holding your soul in life. You're not going anywhere. I don't care what the doctor, care what nobody said. You're not going anywhere. God is holding your soul in life. Amen. And he doesn't let your foot be moved. They can say what they want to say, but can't nothing happen until God says so. Amen. God has the final say in it all. Yes, amen. Thank you, Lord. For thou, oh God has proved us. Thou has tried us as silver is tried. Thou broughtest us into the net. Thou laidest afflictions upon our loins. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through the fire and through the water. But the scripture doesn't stop there, praise God. It says, but thou broughtest us out into a wealthy place. That's where we're going in this restoration season. That's where we're going into our wealthy places. That's where we're going. It talked about in the scripture how the things, how the locusts had ate up everything, and every time it would grow, they would eat it. And what God was saying to me, even the things that seem like a waste of time for you, I'm going to restore that. Amen. Even if they were mourning, and they were grieving over crops that never made it to really to fruition, that never really got there because the locust and the canker worm and the pommel worm was always eating it up. And so whatever was not, whatever it seemed was not worthwhile, God is saying, watch it this season. Amen. I'm going to make it worth your time. I'm going to make it worth your while. I got you. God, we waited so long for this. But the truth of the matter is restoration has hit the house. Amen. He heard our cry. He heard our cry. He heard our repentance. He heard us say, God, if you just get me out of this this time, you have, you never have to worry about me. He heard all that. And that's God's word to you. Be ready. For restoration. Be ready to receive. Be ready to get some stuff back. Be ready. Be ready. Don't be caught. Don't be caught being somewhere else when the blessing is getting delivered somewhere else. Don't, don't, don't. Not in the season. Don't be caught there. Don't be caught. Don't be caught there. No, God, let me be exactly where you want me to be when you deliver this restoration. Because I waited for a good while. Wow. Amen. I cried. Amen. I snotted. Amen. But now, God, now that it's back. Because if you like me, you act like you did it before you, you got it before you get it. Amen. 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 So, God, now that it's back. Well, how you know it's back? Because all things are working together for my good now. Yeah. It's back. Because neither 
death, nor life, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature can separate me from the love of God. Amen. I get back because the race is not given to the swift, nor to the strong, nor to men of understanding, nor to men of skill. But time and chance, the Bible says, it happens for us all. Amen. It's back. I'm restored. You're restored. My heart is restored. My mind is restored. My prosperity is restored. Amen. Everything that I've been asking God for, he's given me in this season. Amen. That's why we can walk into stores and the folk can give us stuff for free. That's why. That's why they give us things, glory be to God, that we're not supposed to have. She said, the man slid the, I'm just going to give you this. And when I give it to you, you just walk out. Amen. That's why they can do that. Because God is shifting the season. Your shift hit the house. Your season hit the house. Amen. We have to get out there and collect what is ours. Amen. God is restoring. It's not apostle and restoring nothing. God is. God is restoring you. God is giving it back. Everything that the devil stole. Did you hear Joseph? You meant it for my good. <laughs> but God meant it for my good. He meant it for my good. I'm going to get every single thing. Amen. I'm not going to let the devil rob me. Amen. I'm going to get every Amen. single thing. Everything he's promising me. I'm getting it. Now it's up to you whether or not you get it. That's not up to me. It's up to you. Because God has it for each and every one of us. I was watching the people in the dream. I woke up amazed. Just like, God, are you, what is this? What is this? Everywhere we went, the people were being restored. Money coming back. Everywhere we went in the dream. And it cannot be broken. Amen. It cannot be tampered with. Amen. The dream has already come to pass. Amen. Amen. So every witch and every warlock that would try to watch this and then try to pray against it, amen, it's too late. Amen. amen. It's too late. Amen. You are day late and a dollar short. Amen. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Amen. And watch this. And his word will not return. My God, back to him, boy, but it will accomplish that which he sent it out to do. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. It's mine. It's yours. It's mine. It's yours. It's ours. God's got a blessing with your name. He's got a blessing with your name on it. Hallelujah. All you got to do is receive. All you got to do is receive. Lord, I receive everything. She ain't waiting for y'all. She ain't waiting for y'all. Y'all keep you She said, I receive it now in the name of Jesus. She ain't waiting for y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Every single thing. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That God promised me. Hallelujah. Every promise in the book is mine. Amen. I'm getting every single thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Now listen. Take one hand and snatch it down. Amen. Get green. Take both hands and snatch it down. Amen. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. You held it long enough. You've been messing with it long enough. You've been hitting it long enough. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Every single thing. Every single promise. It's mine. Hallelujah. This is my time. This is 
you, sell you, establish you, and make you perfect. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Weeping, right? May endure for a night, may, but joy will. And it's our strength. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. See, joy is guaranteed. Yes. We've been made, Jesus. We've been made. But I declare as the prophet of God, it's morning time. Yes. It's morning time. Yes. And you prophesy to the way you stop. And say, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Put the jet ski. What does the thing that, that, that the people put on their back? 
and they fly up, amen. Mm -hmm. You're watching me go up and over. Yeah. 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 You thought I was going down and under, did you? You really thought that I was, you know, some people leave and they feel like, you know, you, you'll never make it without them. Oh, Amen. Amen. Okay. <laughs> Watch my season. Amen. Pay close attention now. Tell your hangers to get a real good seat. Amen. Tell them to get a real good seat. Because you, you're going to have to watch this. You're going to have to watch this theatrical production that God puts on. And the way he blesses you. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to make it without you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it without you. I'm going to make it without you. I, 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 I promise you God's got me in his hand. I'm going to make it without you. Let him go. Ooh, hi. It's all right. It's all right. You can thank go. You, thank you, thank you, thank you. You can go. Yeah. It didn't kill me when you came, so it didn't kill me when you come. Amen. Amen. Let them go. Let them go. God's got us. God's got us. God's got us. And he's restored. It's going to be a lot easier to pay them bills. Amen. 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 How many people receive that? I receive it. Amen. I receive it. You're going to be able to pay in that Amen. dance. Amen. Amen. You're going to be able to pay in that dance. Amen. 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 And watch this. You're going to pay and have something left over for yes. you. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 This is my season of restoration. Yes. You can talk weak faith if you want to, but uh -uh. this is my faith talk, as they say now. You can say you can you you can talk no no you know I just want I just want enough to be able to no I want more than enough why should I settle for just enough when our God is El Shaddai He's more than enough I need some for me yes. you and them yes 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 nobody will believe that I serve God if I'm beating the dogs to the garbage can come on church I need more than enough that's it press down. Shaking together and running over. That's what I need. I need one of those. I need a blessing that I don't have room enough to receive. Yes. yes. Amen. I'm a tither. I need one of my tithes. Yes. Yeah, I do. Amen. Yeah, I do. The same thing you say in your Bible, the same mind. I tithe too. Amen. Amen. There's only a few people in here that beat me when it comes to tithing too. It's only a few. I tithe. And I don't work. This is all I do. But before I let that kind of curse come on me, I'll give my very last and believe God to yes, make up the yes, rest. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Same thing you say in your Bible, the same mind. It, it, it don't change. And I'm full time ministry. Amen. And still I talk. Amen. Amen. You gotta know, in order for things to grow, mm -hmm. you need a little dirt. Mm -hmm. You need a little dirt. Mm -hmm. Thank God for the dirt. Because the dirt prepares a harvest. Yes. Nothing grows without a little dirt on it. Amen. A plant won't even grow without dirt. Mm -hmm. Amen. When my grandma used to put eggshells in the dirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's old school. I don't know. I don't know if they do that with plants now. They would be all climbing all over her living room. She moved the plants, but she put eggshells in the dirt. Just know the dirt that's on you, the dirt that people feel they have on you, is working for your good too. Amen. That produces a harvest. Oh, now you're supposed to be super saved now. And you don't want to be bothered and you acting funny. No, I'm not acting funny. I'm being the real me. Amen. I'm being the real me. And, and you just don't fit. You just don't fit in. Because you still, still broke, still mad, still jealous, still insecure, still not going anywhere, still being a fool, still playing games, still not growing. Still, you still. So I, I'm moving. Yeah. And two can't walk together unless they agree. Amen. 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 So I have to leave you because you're still. Yeah. You're still and you're stuck. So I'm going on. I'm moving on. 
Hallelujah. And guess what? For those that's holding dirt on you, for what you've done or for what they've seen you do in your unchristian moment, forgive yourself. Forgive yourselves and move on. If that's all you got, baby, I done did worse than what you seen me do. If that's all you got? That, that you, you didn't know me back when I was doing this. You, you, didn't, you didn't know you weren't even a part of my life when all of that was going on. So this is nothing. Forgive yourselves and move on. Get over it. You need a so what ministry. Remember that? So what? Yeah, I did it. So what? I used to tell people, when they used to say, and you're supposed to be a Christian. I should say the epitome of it. Amen. You're going to find a better one out there. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. But I'm a human being. If you cut me, I'll bleed. I don't recommend that. <laughs> Amen. 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 I'm a girl. may cut you back. <laughs> <laughs> but know that, church, as you grow, there's a such thing as outgrowing. Mm -hmm. You grow and you outgrow. Right? Growing up, if, they, if, if things could pack, like, you know, I have older brothers, and, you know, they grow out of the shirt, and you ever learn to just throw it away? And you don't wear that shirt. You put it on you, it's a little baggy, but it's on you. Amen. I remember the striped shirt that my brother had, the striped was going, you get a little baggy, but it's on you. Amen. And you wear that baggy shirt. Amen. He outgrew it. See, things that are outgrown are only good for other people. Y'all better catch that. Amen. Oh. Hey. Things that are outgrown are not, they're no longer good for you. They're only good for other people. Mm -hmm. Right? We tend to keep stuff too long. Amen. I'll tell y'all the story, right? I had a t-shirt. It's like a little undershirt. What they white be, as they call them now. Oh, right. that, but they go. And, and it had... A hole in it, right? And now we said, that's not acceptable. What, what, is, what, what is that? What, 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 why is that? And did she do a little Haitian thing when she, what's that? It's all right. It happened a little more. So she said, give it to me. Give it to me. Now she didn't wait for me to take it. She said, give it to me. And snatched it off of me. <laughs> we keep things too long sometimes, trying to hold on to people, trying to spare their feelings, and trying to... When you put people before you, when you put them first, you teach them that your mind be in the second place. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, all the time you got the baby and the spirit and things. You, know, you can't, you can't have a mature talk with them. Mm -hmm. Not in this season. That's not for you. Church, that's not for you. Amen. It's not for you. I'm not going to spare your feelings. I'm not going. We're going we're to have adult conversations. Cause you know, aren't we all adults until stuff? <laughs> don't, don't we? I'm grown. Don't, I'm, 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 until stuff hit, hit right. your house. Right. Until someone just as mature or even more mature gives you a word. And now you're like, oh, no. But all the other time you shout how grown you are. Okay, but well we're going to see in this season. Because in order for you to get this blessing, you're going to have to cross over. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to cross over. Nope, if the people from Israel stayed there where they were begging Moses to leave them, They will be Pharaoh's slaves to this day. Mm -hmm. But everybody had to cross over. And you cannot leave people behind. Mm -hmm. Hear me? When I come into my blessing, everybody's coming into their blessings. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So you coming. If I have to drag you, Amen. you're coming. You crossing over with me. Because I refuse to see any of my people unblessed. I refuse to see any of us still stuck there. Uh -uh. We got, we're going over together. They all went together. And the Bible said they came out with much substance. So we're coming out with much substance. You just going to have to mature real quickly. You're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. 
I'm not mad with you. I'm ready for you to move on. Amen. You've got to get to this blessing because let me tell you something. The breakdown of blessing, even in the Hebrew, is happy. It means to be happy. And a lot of times in the church, that's the one thing we're not, is happy. We're not happy. Oh, without joy, you ain't happy though. But you're not, it, it's hard to find a happy Christian. Because <laughs> we're professional complainers. Oh, this is wrong, that is wrong, this, and this is wrong, and that's 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 wrong. What's right? What's right? The fact that God spared your life another day Hallelujah. makes this day a good day. Amen. 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 Trust me, it makes this day a good day. You may not have everything you want, but you got everything you need. Amen. 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 Trust me, God has been keeping and sparing you. Yes, there have been yes. accidents here and accidents yes. there and yes. violence there. Yes. And none of that God allowed to touch you. Amen. Amen. You're blessed in church. Yes. And God says, so so watch this now. So everybody, when I say you're blessed, church, everybody said, Amen. Amen. So if we're already blessed, and God is saying, but restoration is still going to hit the house. He wants us super blessed. Amen. He wants us Amen. exceedingly Hallelujah. blessed. Amen. 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 So why not just receive it? Amen. God, blow our minds. Yes, yes. Lord. Yes. Blow our minds. God, throw your way around yes. in our lives. Blow our minds, yes. God. Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Do it till we can't take it anymore. And then keep doing it, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Blow our minds, God, in this season. Move, heal, deliver, set free. Speak to us. Synchronize our hearts to yours so that our hearts don't be out of step down. Do whatever it is you choose to do in this season with us. Move how you want to move. Because God, all we want is what you want us to have. That's what I want. I want what you want me to have. And what do you want? What God wants for me. Amen. Amen. So what God has for me, it is for me. Amen. Amen. What God has for me, it is for me. And I know without doubt that he will bring me out. What God has for me, it is for me. And restoration has hit this house. Get ready for everything to come back. Amen. Get ready for everything to come back. Get ready Thank for you. everything to come back. Hallelujah. Get ready to sit at his right hand, because his right hand there is the fullness of joy. Amen. Amen. Get ready to get your joy back. Thank you. Ready to get your strength back. Because yes. the joy of the Lord is your strength, and the strength of the Lord is your joy. Yes. Get ready to get it all back. Show us the house one more time, please. It flattened. Yes. Then it stood up and then jumped back on top. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, you wouldn't believe that I'll be creating this in a matter of seconds. Created that in a matter of seconds. You is that. <laughs> he is beautiful. He is, he is wise. <laughs> Amen. Seconds it took her. Look at that, Jesus. Well, that's it right there. He's restoring the house. Amen. Y'all are the people who find this. Amen. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus that the blessing of the Lord is hunting us down and it's going to overtake us. We're going to receive, yes, God, hallelujah. We're going to receive, we're going to receive 
every single thing God because the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and it adds no sorrow so this is a season where there will be no sorrow it's a season where there's no sorrow involved it's a season where there is no sorrow involved. It's a season of prosperity. It's a season of blessing. Hallelujah. It's a season of wisdom and how to carry ourselves before the people, in and out before the people. It's a season of blessing. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's a season of receiving. 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 Hallelujah. It's a season, hallelujah, where God has left extra out for us in the vineyard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. And our job is to glean. Tell somebody, glean, glean, glean. Our job is to glean. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And go out there and get it. Because everything. Everything. Now, will you hear me? Thank you, sir. Hear me. And I'm not talking about stuff that you got to water keep either. Amen. I'm not talking about stuff that's going to keep you up all night long trying to figure out how you're going to pay for it. I said we're going to glean. We're going to get it. Amen. abundant above all that we ask their dream or imagine or think. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about no hard stuff. I'm not talking about stuff you going to have to war and keep. Because you know what I say? There is no there's no blessing without a battle no in this season and God's restoration. I'm not going to have to fight for it. What is mine is simply coming to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to our wonderful broadcast. We'd like to thank you, amen, and if you're looking for a church home, or if you would like to visit us, we are located at 687 North 6th Street in the wonderful city of North New Jersey. Yes. Amen. amen. Come on through, we would love to have you, and if you need prayer, leave a comment inside of the messages, and someone will call you or, and pray with you. Thank you, and God bless you. Remember, restoration has hit your house, too. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.